first ticket to the championship game tomorrow will be punched as it's the number one ranked U Albany Great Danes taking on the number two ranked Binghamton Bearcats from the UMaine Softball Complex in Orono. I'm Ryan Stackpole joined by Jack Webb and we have a heavyweight matchup. The top two teams, both 14 and 6 during the regular season, both pretty confident victories as well too, Avalon and Kevin Thompson. Bunt attempt shown, and it's going to be a four-pitch walk as Walter now, the speed demon on the base pass. This game for a tight game, uh, not necessarily as close, but tight games for Binghamton in this tournament. That, that could pay dividends in a game like this. So there is the walk, back-to-back -back walks handed. Imagine Wendy Hammond with only three innings yesterday versus UMass Lowell be a little bit more efficient. This tired as this one rifled down the line. It's going to be the first run of the contest as Lawson continues swinging the hot bat. It drives in Santa, or, uh, Walter from second base, and we have our first run of the contest. What a shot. Just stays in, actually hits that third base line. Opening up the scoring early here. Early adversity for him, and something I'm not sure she's faced a ton of. Handed pitch, mm -hmm. or right-handed hitter, I should say. Blunt attempt, Hammond fields it cleanly, just decides to go to first. Double clutch, but in time. 1-3 put out for, or 1-4 put out for out number two. Smart play there by Hammond. Just absolutely, and on, on a sunny, beautiful day like this, you really get to see it in all its glory, made for an event like this. Here's the 2-2, two -two. swing and a miss. Hammond bears down and gets the strikeout to retire the side, but not before Binghamton gets one. Was inning pitch logged here for any pitcher that qualified. This one down the line, snag the throw over. Is not in time. Arvalio did everything possible. Hard an absolute seed over to Lamoureux, but not in time to get the speedy Mitros. Kennedy gets the sign. The rock and fire here. Ground a weekly down the right side. Lamoureux is going to try to dive at the bag Ooh. and gets it just in time. Two Superman slides head first. What an effort there. Green light and say, you know what? You're such an incredible hitter. Hitting third in this lineup, you get the green light to get something. Have at it. She'll instead take that one, not close enough to entice her. Four pitch walk as she'll head down to first. Eventually eliminated by the Bulldogs. This one down the left side. Good snag there, the tag is applied. Carvalho says, I'm gonna get this out myself. An act second base in scoring position. Murray now at the point, this one gets away from the catcher, Allen, and both runners will advance. That's one thing you'll see from both these teams. So tuned into the game, always ready to take advantage of an opportunity on the base pass. RBIs this year for Eric Anderson. And this one will miss. Second walk of the inning, and the bases will be loaded with great dates. What a pop up. This could end the inning. Ranging back is the shortstop, Guerrero. She's going to be called off by Walter, who comes and gets the third out. And the bases will be stranded loaded. One through in the books. This pitch pop up in the infield. A couple different Great Danes, but it's going to be the third baseman, Sarah Anderson, calling everyone off to get Farina out for a quick first step. Backfielders here in this tournament. This one popped up. Easily playable. Dodig is retired for another quick out as Hammond seems to have settled herself. This one popped up, might find its way in the outfield and will do so. Bouncing right in front of Mitros. And it's a two out, ba a two out base knock for Guerrero and brings up the top of the order again. Just perfectly. This one, another pop up will stay in the infield. Calling for it is Anderson. A little bit more of an adventure, but a pretty quick inning for Hammond and the Great Danes defensively. We head to the bottom of the second, still Binghamton with a win. The players, they just have the greatest time yep. out here on the field. You get the rally aspects when your team's behind, Absolutely. you can cheer on. There's no time restrictions either, so you're never, ever out of it. Mm -hmm. Two teams that are so aggressive as another walk there for Kennedy. When you have two teams so aggressive on the base pass, you put so much stress, stress on the catcher. This one grounded towards the shortstop. Guerrero picks it up, fires it across the diamond. In time to Lambero. 6-3 put out. Anderson and Grayhack both advance to third and second base respectively on the throw. Base, two in scoring position. 
This one, the bunt attempt down. It's gonna be a bunt for a base hit. The throw over is not in time. Second time today that Mitros is able to beat out an infield single. Wow. What an effort there from Mitros. Morgan Petty with a golden opportunity. First pitch swinging, fielded by the third baseman, fired over, Carvalho over to Allen, quickly for an out, as they cut down the lead runner and no first run for the Great Danes. What a heads up play. They'll be able to leave right as it releases and that will result in some extra runs. It'll be a two run single for Matty Petrella as the runner is thrown out at the plate. Petty may be a little too aggressive, but you Albany plates two as Maddie Petrella stays red hot from. Lindsay Walter trying to show that she's also had a really good tournament already with a walk and a run scored. This one right back up towards Hammond, who settled in nicely, playing her position well and a quick out to start off the top of the third. Never easy to field that ball as a bit of this game goes into championship Saturday. Can watch the rest of it. Hammond, the back end, the fire, a little high, but. Murray keeps her foot on the bag and two quick 1-3 putouts. Hammond making a great play there in the infield. Practices as well, going over techniques. Mm -hmm. Not to mention having to be in the classroom so much too and excelling, which most, most of these scholar athletes do an excellent job at. Absolutely, I think, uh, and it varies with every sport, but there's always a type of summer commitment. Anticipating their matchup in an elimination game, their third straight after losing their first game. This one down the third base side, picked up. Anderson fires across, 5-3 put out. And the Binghamton Bearcats are retired in the third as we... Swing and a miss. So Roberts comes back. But, you know, so much more comfort knowing you have that loss to give the next day. Murray hits it hard, fielded cleanly, fired over, but one hops off the glove of Lamoureau. The throw was really strong from Guerrero, just bounced in there and unable to hand it was Lamoureau. The bunt attempt, oh, it's a beauty. Ranging is the third baseman. Cavalio's throw not in time as Lamoureau has she had to get pulled off the bag a slight bit. Great effort from these Albany hitters. So far, the bottom of the third innings, just one down, two runners on. Swing and a miss. Second strikeout here. And it's a big one for Brianna Roberts. 331st game for wow. the Albany Great Danes. This one down the line. It's going to be a fair ball. They're going to send the runner around third base. As the, she will score, Langdon comes all the way around from second. An insurance run on the RBI double for Deanna Grayheck. What a hit from Grayheck and the pinch runner. Works out perfectly there for the Albany Great Danes. Has the speed to round third and get home. Also on the play, Nastos moves to third. So two runners in scoring position. Umesel and Bryant will be playing next. They might have something to say about it. Is this one fly ball ranging stays in fair territory. Off the glove, they're going to say it's a fair ball. And two runs will score. And into third base is Casey Kahn. After it glances off of... The glove of Santos in left field and right field. And two more runs come across, and it's five to one. You Albany on top. Albany coaches quickly recognize that that is a fair ball. Tough from that angle to see if it would have dropped fair, but the home plate umpire makes the call. And then the loser of this game will be taking on the winner of that game, the late contest, as this one misses. Did not go around, and for the third time today, Caitlin Mitros heads to first base. It's an odd base. Stolen base attempt. They're going to try to get another run across. The beautiful throw in, but not in time. Khan snuck her hand in there to hold plate and gets the run to score. The fourth one so far this inning, and advancing all the way to third is Mitros on the throw. Mitro slowed down on her way to second, almost like she, she didn't believe they were throwing it out there to second base. Throw was perfect, too. I think that might be the correct call, Brian. I think she got her hand in there before the tag. And then Morgan Petty will get plunked. And here comes Petrella. Roberts with the 1-2 pitch. 
Missing outside. And they're just going to let Petty take second yeah. base now. Essentially a free base. And at this stage, it, it is a significant run, too. Right down first base side, Lamoro gets it on the two hop, steps over on first, and the inning is finally over. Binghamton, though, surrenders four runs as UAlbany takes a 6-1 to one lead so far. Didn't have to go very long in the first contest, just went three innings. This one gets over the glove of Grayheck at shortstop, and it'll be a leadoff single for Roberts on her first at bat. That's how you respond there from Roberts after that inning. Two and two. Almost a swinging bunt there. It will stay fair. Oh, you thought that was destined to roll into foul territory, and I think that's exactly what Petrella thought as well, too. She let it roll, then it stopped right in fair territory. The best swinging bunt you'll see. Has some backspin on it, just not enough to get over the foul line. And yeah, Petrella knew she had to go pick it up anyways, couldn't let it spin. Pitcher like Hammond, I'd expect her to challenge here. Swing and a miss. A tough pitch. It's blown past Busual, and that's the first out. Burrow at the point. Top of the order will follow. As this one will be down the third baseline, they're going to send Roberts around third base. She's going to score. Farina is going to be held up right at third base. The tag, the dive, oh. and it is applied onto the leg. An athletic play from Sarah Anderson, and she's able to get the out at third. Coach, coach bump there, tried to hold the runner rounding third, did not see the call, then just got caught in no man's land there. What's the potential here for the top of your order to drive them in? This one popped up, could be trouble, but not this time. Caitlin Mitros, who gets it for out number three. Bamte gets one. Olivia Kennedy only going two innings, allowing two runs. And four given up by this... Binghamton staff, but they're a big strike out there. The second so far for Roberts. Roberts gets the sign. Here's the 1-2 pitch. This one sent right back up the middle. Ranging over and getting that one is going to be Rena. And that's a quick out number two. Bearcats playing well defensively here. So do the payoff pitch again. And she's rung up. Second K of this fourth inning. It's the fourth overall as Roberts retires the Great Danes in order. As we head to the top of the fifth, it's fourth time Maine has hosted the tournament, but the first time since 2010. Right back up the middle, and that's going to be a base knock for Walter, wasting no time on the second pitch, getting a leadoff single. It's first ever yeah, American softball. Make it. And similar stat line outside of the runs. This one, back into play, fire over. And that's a beautifully executed play, Deanna Grayhack. The backhand and then an absolute strike over to first base. What a play there from Gray. Especially on baseball side where professional teams are so. This one misses. Five pitch walk. Lawson walks for the second time today and reaches base for the third time so far this morning and now into afternoon. That's why it's a little bit more of a business on the MLB side of mm -hmm. things. The majors. It's going to pop up. Ranging back is the shortstop. Gray gets it. Nastos was coming in like a bull in a china shop, but the shortstop gets the out. And then Maine, the second team, eliminated at the number six spot entering the tournament. This one will find its way into the mitt of Caitlin Mitros, oh, who slides down and snags it. One two pitch from Roberts. This one hit into right field and will find its way right in front of Santos. A little bit of a bobble here. No chance to get the runner at first base. So it will be a leadoff single. Bunch attempt. Oh, it's a great one. Great bunt. The fire over. Oh, then the oh, runner is no. going to be thrown out in the pickle. Beautifully done. Excellent defensive play for Binghamton. They field the bunt cleanly. They fire it over to first, and then great wherewithal to see a wide. This one popped up. Looks to be playable. Ranging over, well, more of an adventure for Santos, but that will be out number three. So great de defense being played by the Bearcats as we head to the top of the sixth. Uniform combos for all these teams have been phenomenal too. Sammy Levine 
Pinch hitting, grounds this one to the high corner. No problem at all for Sarah Anderson, and she fires it over to first to Murray for a 5-3 put-up. Game and then play in the third game of the day. Down to the last five outs, needing four runs. This one off the end of the bat, stays up, and will carry into the mid of Mitros. No problem for her for route number two. My this one down the line, backhanded. Anderson keeps it in the infield, but it'll be a third base hit of the day for Gabby Guerrero, who just continues to rake. Good rip there from Guerrero, and a great... Rendy, Ardsley, New York. It's this one right back up the middle. It will hold up just enough. Ernesto's to grab it for the third and final out here of this half inning. Back-to-back -back frames scoreless against U Albany after giving up four in the third. This one backhanded by the second baseman. Dodig sends that into shallow center field. Hot shot at her, and that'll be a leadoff single. First hit, though. This one off the end of the bat, going back, ranging. Center field, Farina. And throw this one to the cutoff after the first out is recorded. So Morgan Petty, not necessarily the normal highlight of off. And all she did for an encore is a two-run single. Mitros just gets the hand in in time. Good throw there to second. Mitros just too fast, beats it out. Coming all the way over here to the East Coast. Absolutely. Full count here. This one a pop up. We'll stay in the yard. Shallow right field, no problem there. Picked up, and that'll be easy out number two. In multiple tournaments now. Swing and a miss. Climbing the ladder was Roberts to get the strikeout. And she gets the K as we head to the top of the seventh inning. The base pass. This one. Two hops right in the shortstop Smith. Gray Heck fires over, but not in time. And that's just showing off the speed and the prowess of Lindsey Walter, who beats it down to the first base back, the current team and roster. This one gets a piece of Lamoureux, Hitter. so. Not exactly what you Albany was hoping for. They're hoping for a clean top of the seventh inning. Yeah, I was thinking of Valarchow. Rollo, though, does have some home run power, ten during the regular season. And she's gonna be putting that opportunity right now as that one is gonna be a free pass in. Carvalho led the conference with 10 home runs. This one won't be enough. Stays just in shallow center field and the run will score. No throw here from Grayek and probably a wise decision. So technically it will be a very short sacrifice fly, but we'll tighten up the game nonetheless. Another close call there with the communication. Albany really lucky to have made that catch with with the two infielders colliding. Now Brianna Roberts, the scoreline stagnant. This one a ground ball, easily played. Casey Kahn just fires over to Mary Kate Murray, getting the out. Both runners advance to third and second base respectively. Lamoreau and Lawson. Brew to stay alive. You Albany would like to put this one to bed. One strike to go. This one back up the middle, but will hold up just enough for Deanna Grayheck. And the U Albany Great Danes will be heading to the America East Championship game tomorrow in prime position to win their first title since 2018. Extremely impressive to get out of that jam. Bases loaded, no outs. Hammond goes the distance today, gets it done. Albany is headed to championship Saturday. Wendy Hammond showing why she was the America East Pitcher of the Year in 2024, picking up the victory, her second of the tournament, going a complete game, and which was for her, her 20th of the season. Just a really strong win for the number one seed and showing why they were given that honor here with a 14 and six regular season record. Binghamton now knows that they're gonna have to wait around. They'll be playing in the late game here today.